Hi, this is David Yak, and in this video, we're going to do the highlights of the 2022 Power Platform release notes for Wave 1. This is great if you don't have time to read the full release notes, which can take a few hours if you go through them in detail. But I wanted to highlight some of my favorite things that I found when I went through them. The first one that caught my eye, if you're building a model-driven application and you use activities, you probably run into a scenario in your application where you didn't want to have the user be able to select one of the activities. As you can see on my list here, I've got campaign response, but if I wasn't using campaign responses, why would I want to show it to the user? So with the upcoming release, you'll be able to show only the relevant activities in your application and not ones that you haven't configured for your application. This will be coming as a public preview in January of 2022 with general availability in April of 2022. The next one is also for Power Apps model driven application. It's the command designer. And while this isn't new in preview, it's been out since July of 2021. They've announced the general availability date of April of 2022. If you haven't had a chance to take a spin with this, make sure to check my video that I'm highlighting on the screen right now that I dive in deeper and give you a full 30 minutes plus access to hands-on labs if you haven't had a chance to play with it. I walk you through some of the cool things you can do with it. I'm excited to see this go to general availability. It's been a long time in the waiting to get an actual command bar editor. And next up is building forms entirely using the features in the modern form designer. Hopefully everybody's had a chance to use the modern form designer and realize that it's probably missing a few things. Well, they're closing the gaps on things that are missing. Specifically, they called out things like filter lookup based on another record in a related record filtering. I just did this recently and was wondering when it was coming. Great to see it on the list. Apply business logic to form fields through business rules, customize form elements for more formatting, and more. And now hopefully that and more is the keyword because there are a few gaps where you still have to go back to classic. And if you've been hanging on to classic, Microsoft did put you on notice that the classic form designer is soon to be deprecated once they get all the features into the modern form designer. Look for this to hit general availability in April of 2022 also. Is there a feature you think the modern form designer is missing that I haven't mentioned? If so, mention it in the comment and I'll see if I can pass it on to Microsoft to make sure that they know people are asking about it. Next up is PowerFX named formulas. In the past, you used to have to pretty much spell out the whole thing. For example, instead of writing set account comma last accounts to get the last account into that variable, you can now write last accounts equals last accounts. And this gives PowerFX the optimization capabilities of deciding when it is going to be used and optimizing that access on there. This can also be used for simple things like writing instead of set background color to gray, you can now just say background color equals gray. We'll see more on the syntax of this as it comes into public preview in March of 2022, and it'll hit general availability in May of 2022. Another Power Apps Canvas app one that caught my attention was the collaborate together on the same application. Maybe you haven't run into this if you only build your apps by yourself, but if you ever work on teams, it's quite often that you want to collaborate with another team member on building an app. And there's a lot of emphasis on collaboration that's been coming into the platform with comments and co-presence and things like that happening. But also now we're seeing focus on the single app collaboration, being able to do merging and bring things together. And we'll see this come out in preview in June of 22. Now you'll notice that there's no general availability date. I suspect this will take a bit of a journey for them to get to where you can fully have people work together on a single application. But it's great seeing the emphasis on it and recognizing that people, more than one person typically builds applications. Next up is one for all of you that love Power Apps portals. Port for image and file columns is coming. I was just actually looking for this the other day when I was looking on how to handle support for them and came up empty. So it's great to see this is coming out in public preview in April of 2022 and general availability in June of 2022. This will give you support for forms and lists and portals, being able to have thumbnail images seen when viewing data on the portal form, uploading images and files when submitting form data, and also being able to access the files through the web API. So basically bringing support for one of Dataverse's newest column types, image and file, to the Power Apps portals. 
And to jump over to Power Automate, one of the things that I really like the idea of is copying and pasting things in a Power Automate flow. But in execution, it's always fell in short for a couple of reasons, one around connection references, and the other, especially around nested statements and some things that can't be pasted. Nothing's more frustrated than realizing you can't paste something that you wanted to. And both of those are being addressed and improved in the Wave 1 release. And we'll see that hit general availability in April of 2022. Next up is another Power Automate 1 flow ownership supported for service principles. This is uh, one that has impacted a lot of people that have been trying to do automated deployments with Power Automate flows in their solution. When the fl flow is deployed and the owner becomes a service principal, they're not able to enable it. So this will take care of that, allow a service principal to be represent the ownership of the flow and allows service accounts to be fully supported as part of deployment. So it'd be great to see this in and be able to use service principles a little more fuller in a CI CD pipeline. And this will be general availability in April of 2022. Another Power Automate one connection reference reuse during flow creation. How many times have I done this where it's created a different connection reference and I end up with multiple connection references in my solution? Now you'll get more control over which connection reference is used when you're creating a flow or updating a flow that has new actions. And this will hit in April of and another Power Automate one with the parse JSON action. How many times have you run into where you've been doing some integration where you got some data from another system, used parse JSON to parse it, and then failed because some of the data had a null in it? And particularly this comes into play where you've generated a schema and the schema expects it to have a valid data type that doesn't include null. So in wave one, they'll be supporting a better ability to handle null in the JSON parse action. This will be coming general availability in April of 2022. And the final one that caught my attention is from Power Virtual Agents, and that's being able to call connectors without needing to create a Power Automate flow. I can't tell you how many times I've been working with Power Virtual Agents and thought, gee, it would be great if I could just use the connector right here. Well, coming up in April of 2022 in public preview, you'll be able to do that. So those are my highlights of the Power Platform 2022 Wave 1 release notes. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. I've only touched the surface of the ones that caught my attention. So I wanted to highlight those to you, but I'd encourage you to use the link on the screen to jump in and go take a look at the full release notes. Also in the comments, if you have one that is a particular favorite feature that you caught your eye when you looked at the release notes, put it in the comments and share it with others. Thanks for joining us for this video.